Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Football Betting Series here on YouTube. Premier League edition. We won all four of our Premier League picks last week out, and we had good success on the continent as well, which means our February record stands at this. 20 wins, 8 losses, and 1 push for a current monthly profit of £141.25. Adding that to our January data, and we're looking at an overall record of 28 wins, 11 losses, and 1 push for a total profit of £206.05. If you think I'm talking some sense in today's video, please drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more content. I've got three picks in today's episode, so without further ado, let's get into it. We kick things off with fourth placed Aston Villa playing host to 15th placed Nottingham Forest. And Villa did quite well to win their last game 2 1 against Fulham. Ollie Watkins proved a difference as the England hopeful struck twice to seal the, the win for the villains. Unai Emery will be hoping that the villains can bounce back from a poor recent spell as they did lose two games before the Fulham match. However, they could be back to winning ways. And they'll be happy that their next game against Forest is at home. Aston Villa have one of the better records in the division, the third best in fact, with an overall record of nine wins, one draw and two losses from their 12 games at Villa Park, taking 28 from a possible 36 points. However, in this rough patch of form, they have only won one of their last four games at Villa Park, so we do need to be careful with that. The away side, Forest, they snapped their four-game winless run last time out against West Ham in their 2-0 victory. Taiwo Awanyi and Callum Hudson-Odoi scored in the stoppage time of each half to seal the deal and to take the three points for Forest. That win does mean that Forest have now moved five points clear of the drop. However, as good as Villa are at home, Forest are similarly bad away. They've only taken nine points from a possible 36, with just two wins, three draws, and seven defeats on the road. They've also only won one of their last five away matches. The game earlier this season finished two goals to nil against Forest, but the scoreline is somewhat deceptive. When we take a look at the stats, we see that Villa took 73% possession in that game. They had more than double the shots of Forest as well, and it looks like the Forest caught Villa napping in the early parts of each half. But we do have to credit them for some stellar defensive work, and they did deserve the three points on the day. In summary, Villa are a different beast at home, and Nottingham Forest struggle away from home, and we'll be backing Aston Villa to win the game for a full stake in bet number one. Our second selection sees third place Arsenal playing host to eighth place Newcastle. And Arsenal followed up a 6 0 battering of West Ham by putting five past Burnley in their latest triumph. That means the Gunners are now sitting on a streak of five wins in a row have definitely made this title contest a three-horse race. At home, Arsenal are the second best side in the division with nine wins, two draws and a single defeat for 29 from a possible 36 points at the Emirates. And they're going to hope to be picking up another win against the Newcastle side, who themselves drew 2-2 in their most recent game against Bournemouth, thanks to Matt Ritchie's equaliser, which was in fact his first goal in four seasons. Form-wise, the Toon are now unbeaten in their last five matches. However, despite the sixth best home form in the division, the Magpies only have the 14th best away form. They've won three, drawn two, and lost seven of their 12 away games so far this season, picking up just 11 points. Recent form looks pretty good for goals as well. Arsenal have seen over two and a half goals in each of their last six games, and for Newcastle, They've seen over two and a half in each of their last seven. However, head to head, we see a bit of a stalemate. Each of the last six Premier League count encounters have seen under two and a half goals. And the last game that saw at least three scored was in January of 2021. Looking more recently, the game earlier this season finished 1-0 to Newcastle at St. James Park. But there were 25 shots across both sides. I think the accuracy was just lacking and the defence won the day. Despite this, I do think there is a solid case for over two and a half goals. So odds of 1.4, I'll be backing that for a full stake in bet number two. Our third and final selection of today's episode sees 13th place Bournemouth playing host to third place Manchester City. And Bournemouth created a number of chances in their most recent game, but were ultimately haunted by their former player, Matt Ritchie, in their 2-2 draw with Newcastle. That does mean form-wise, the Cherries are now winless in their last four games. And despite a personally good season for Dominic Solanke, it's been a decent but not overly impressive season for Bournemouth overall. They sit 13th place in the table with no threat of relegation, but nothing special beyond that point. 
Similarly, they rank 14th in home record with three wins, four draws and four defeats, but a negative goal difference. Form-wise at home, they've won one of their last four games at Dean Court. Manchester City are the visitors, and they followed up their 1-1 draw with Chelsea at the weekend with a midweek victory against Brentford. It's that sort of time of year where Manchester City will go on a large run. They're unbeaten in their last 13, and they had 11 wins in a row before the Chelsea game. That win against Brentford has put City right in contention. As I said earlier in the video, we're looking at a spectacular three-horse race for this Premier League title. In terms of away form, Manchester City with eight wins, one draw and three defeats, and winning each of their last four games, scoring 2.75 goals per game in this sample. When we look at the head-to-head -head record, Manchester City won last fixture by six goals to one at the Etihad. They also won both games last season by four goals to one. Additionally, Manchester City have won all 14 games between these two sides, and over that sample, they've scored an average of 3.28 goals per game. Given the contrasting form and City's recent dominance against the Cherries, I think Manchester City will win quite convincingly. They're a bit short to take them outright, though, so I'm going to try and inject a bit of extra value by taking Manchester City minus one and a half on the Asian handicap, which means we need City to win by two or more clear goals to pick up some profit here. And that's going to be our final bet of the episode. There we have it. Three selections in today's episode, starting off with Aston Villa versus Nottingham Forest. We're going to be backing the home team, odds of 1.54, a £30 stake to return £16.20. At 5.30, Bournemouth hosts Manchester City. Man City to win by two or more goals, minus 1.5 on the Asian handicap. Odds of 2.17, a £30 stake will return £35.10. Wrapping up the Saturday, 8 o'clock start. Arsenal versus Newcastle, over two and a half goals, odds of 1.4, £30 stake to return, 12. So across the weekend, we're going to be risking £90 to hopefully pick up as much as £63.30. Will we do so? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's to tune into the next episode. But if you have made it to this point in the video, please drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more content. And as always, have yourself a lovely day.